We're not going to find out what exactly the judge's verdict is on this whole Johnny and Amber situation until at least September. But there's one interesting thing that has popped up today is I went out to the store, bought a newspaper, got a few odds and ends, come back, and as I was flicking through the newspaper, I saw this. Okay, we have that by there, and I was like, right, if it's in today's paper, it has to be online, and it is. That's what we're going to take a quick look at today, along with a few other things that, oh, this is the microphone, that is actually really interesting. So this is what we got, it was from the Daily Mirror, Amber Heard's sister thought she was going to get rid of Johnny, claims witness. This is an exclusive for the Mirror, a former employer of Amber Heard's sister, Whitney Henriquez, claims Amber was always extremely angry and this towards Johnny. Okie dokie. We've got quite a few people who've actually said that as well. People, Stan Hope, I believe his surname was, he's the one who done an article in The Wrap in 2016 regarding this. So, Amber Heard's sister, Whitney Henriquez, thought she was going to get rid of Johnny during a bust up, a witness has claimed. A former employee of Amber Heard's sister has contradicted evidence given in the High Court in Depp's trial against the Sun. Jennifer Howell, who is this person here, who she actually kind of looks like the woman in the video of Amber's sister saying, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I can't believe Amber whooped your butt. She actually looks similar to that person there. But what it is, she has come out and said, Whitney Henriquez told her Amber was always extremely angry and couldn't understand why Johnny was putting up with her. Jennifer Howell made the claims in a US trial Depp has brought against Amber. So this is the one that's going to happen in Virginia and everything else next year. And it's where the Washington Post is being sued for $50 million because Amber wrote a piece in that paper and a lot of it is literally like how it's gone with the sun. In Johnny's trial against the sun for calling him this, Whitney Henriquez said that a drunken Johnny nearly done this to her down the stairs at his LA home in 2015 when she intervened in a dispute. She said Amber responded, don't do that and done this. Whitney said Johnny done this and I saw him do this. Whitney said she had to stay on her boss's floor after the fight. But Jennifer Howell, who was Whitney's employer at the charity The Art of Elysium at the time, disputed this in a sworn declaration statement to a US court. So, again, a lot of us, once we heard what Whitney was saying in on the stand here in the UK, and then that video cropped up, and it was like, right, okay then, how can you say that when we've got this here stating that she has done this to you, which you just said she hasn't. So we got, she said, Whitney testified about an incident in 2015. Whitney said she had to go live with her employer, where she had to sleep on the floor. I am that employer. This is not what I was told to be true. Whitney came to live in the guest room, not on my floor. Whitney told me she tried to stop Amber from doing this to Johnny. Whitney said when she tried to intervene, Amber nearly pushed her. She told me she was worried Amber was going to get rid of Johnny. Just for Johnny, which is a great little thing we got by there. Then we got the last little part. Last night, Henriquez said, this is complete fiction. Jennifer Howell's statements do not bear any relationship to the truth. And I have no idea why she is saying this. Probably because she's telling the truth. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, you know. A source close to Amber also claimed that Jennifer Howell gave a character reference in 2016 where she stated, Amber is a walking example of selflessness and giving. Yesterday, Amber said it had been incredibly painful to relive the breakup of my relationship and have the most traumatic details of my life shared in court. She also said she just wanted this to be over, which is exactly what Elon Musk said a couple of days before her. dink? I think not. So what we're going to look at now is a couple of pages which are from the Metro and these are say from yesterday and they are actually quite interesting. I thought I'd throw this all together with little bits and bobs of what's happened with the trial and what people have said. Obviously we've had the newspaper part but now we have this one here. I did see this on YouTube and I also saw it on Twitter and I thought it was a very very nice gesture. 
Johnny gives handwritten notes and bandanas to supporters on final day of trial. I think that's just amazing. As you can see there, someone has got a brown envelope with my sincerity, thanks for all, Johnny's signature, and they got a bandana, which is amazing. Johnny handed out handwritten notes to supporters outside London's High Court on the final day of his trial. After 16 days in court, Depp's lawyer, David Sherborne, who literally, yesterday, he blew him out the water against the sun. Before the Pirates of the Caribbean star arrived in court, his team was seen handing out envelopes to the actor's devoted fans, who stood outside the court. The envelopes contained handwritten notes from Johnny reading, My sincere thanks for all, plus his signature, and a printed black and white bandana. The 57-year-old himself wore a black bandana as a face mask as he arrived for the final day, although he is was a bandana bearing the logo for the Fulham Guitar Shop New Kings Road Vintage Guitar Emporium. Can't fault it. Johnny was given a gift bag reading with love and a small teddy bear as he entered the court, and waved to fans before heading upstairs to Court 13 where the trial took place. And it's really nice to see, obviously you can see that again there, but we got people here, justice for Johnny, men can be... True, which is very true. Then we have this here, which I think is absolutely amazing. These five photos. Well, these f these drawings, and they're absolutely amazing. Sweeney Todd, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, Depp's most iconic role, Jack Sparrow, and obviously we have the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. And with these, I just thought it was brilliant to see that these people are out here supporting him. And this day and age, especially when you've got people who, who literally, if you support someone who is being blamed for something, you're automatically called an apologist. Uh, you're supporting them. Well, if you support them, you must do it too. And all that kind of stuff. People don't care this day and age about going to the police to do things properly. All they want to do is literally go to the newspapers, go on social media, which seems to be the in thing nowadays. Literally, oh, I don't care about the police. I want to see someone get character assassinated on social media. Basically, trial by media. But we're going to have a look at something else here now, which is kind of interesting because these are things we never heard. Amber's private allegations against Johnny would have far more serious consequences. What these was, towards the end of the day, the judge asked uh, Mr. Sherborne if he was happy discussing some of the private allegations that were given out, to, not only to the barristers and the judge, obviously, but not to the public or the press. Let's stop that video. And this is what uh, supposedly has happened. So, Amber's private allegations against Johnny made during his high court trial would have far more serious consequences for the actor, his lawyer has claimed. Right, we know all of this, yep. Throughout the 16-day trial, both Johnny and Amber had given evidence with the actress making unheard before private allegations against the Pirates of the Caribbean star, which were not heard in an open court. Well, with that there, straight away, it's like, well, you did a deposition video for this in 2016. Why wasn't these brought up then? If these are unheard of, then why not? Why did you bring up now and not in the past? Why bring them out to help a paper and not yourself? Yeah? No? Because that's a little bit weird. So David Sherborne, he did touch on said allegations during his closing statement, branding them absolutely horrific and implying if the allegations were true, they would have far more serious consequences for Johnny. His statement came as he questioned Amber's evidence and referred to her as an unreliable witness. Referring to the private allegations, Mr. Sherborne said they were far more serious, more allegations raised rel relatively recently by the time anywhere in the history of this whole matter. Sherborne has said, Why, I ask, both rhetorically and literally, would one want to invent such hugely serious and heinous allegations against Johnny, unless you need to bolster allegations which you realise you are not going to succeed on? These allegations were novel, even for Amber. They are of a completely different nature and completely different seriousness for Johnny. Sherborne also added that the absolutely horrific allegations, which would have far more serious consequences for Johnny than the other allegations, were utterly implausible. It is inconceivable that they are correct. 
News of Amber's new allegation that had not previously been made public first came to light in the trial's opening statements. 16 days ago, which was earlier this month, with lawyers for NGN stating the star's request for the allegations to remain private due to their supposedly bad nature. There she is again. She actually looks kind of evil there, I must admit. It was said recently Miss Heard raised one new allegation as she has even asked to be heard in private because of its supposedly nature. An allegation which has never been raised before nor more made anywhere in the last four years since the story has been blasted across publication after publication, including in any of the many court depositions and other documents produced in the litigation which has been conducted since the breakdown of their relationship in 2016. This is exactly what I was saying the other, earlier in the video as well. No one's ever heard these, supposedly. And if they're that bad, it's like, well, people need to hear them, to be honest with you, to make their own minds up. Because... When you've done deposition videos, you've done other things, you know, op-eds in the Washington Post and everything else. Why has it come out just for the Sun newspaper and not for your own court case? Or, for that matter, in any of the contemporaneous communications at all which pass between the couple or their friends. Nowhere. Johnny's libel trial has now come to a close with lawyers for the actor and NGN both making their closing statements in court on Monday and Tuesday. Now until September, the judges normally have a couple of weeks off while everyone does, you know, from court and stuff. And it's going to be very interesting to see where the judge comes from because NGN, their closing statement, basically all they did was clutch his straws and they were like, yeah, Johnny's, uh, he was too uh, out of it to even remember, so he must have done it. That is it. Nothing else. And obviously, you had David Sherbourne, Johnny's lawyers, who literally went over everything. We have all of this, Your Honour. You know, we got this evidence, 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 this, this, this. And obviously, we're going to go by each and every part of it and say why it's stupid. Which is what, exactly what they did. But I say, we will keep you updated on this channel for any future news regarding this situation. September, fair enough, that's when we're going to hear the actual judge's verdict. Fingers crossed it goes Johnny's way. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.